with them and find solutions. Question number two, the Honourable Toe Henare. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Finance. What contribution is the screen industry making? We'll start um, again, shall we? Uh, order the Honourable Toe Henare. What? It's order. a hard job being, Speaker. Order. What contribution is the screen industry making to the New Zealand economy? The Honourable Stephen Joyce. Mr Speaker, on behalf of the Minister of Finance, may I be the first to wish you a happy Hobbit Day and say that New Zealand has a vibrant screen industry which directly supports more than 2,700 businesses, over 95 per cent of which are involved in production and post-production work. Statistics New Zealand 2010-2011 Screen Industry Survey reported the revenue in the screen industry has increased to almost $3 billion in 2011. Feature film revenue for New Zealand has been trending up since the Screen Industry Survey was first released in 2008. In 2011, feature film revenue increased by 15 per cent to more than $700 million, and international revenue also grew by 17 per cent to more than $440 million, with almost $390 million coming from North America. The Honourable Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, how are the Hobbit films supporting New Zealand jobs and the wider community? The Honourable Stephen Joyce. Well, Mr Speaker, on behalf of the Minister of Finance, the Hobbit films have led to around 3,000 jobs to date, uh, with about $1.5 million per week being paid to the crew. There has also been significant flow-on effect. 93,000 hotel beds have been occupied, 1,800 rental cars and 1,650 other vehicles used, just over $9 million spent with local suppliers for set construction, and just under $1.5 million with local food suppliers. Further, the media exposure for New Zealand tourism from the films and from today's world premiere will be felt for years to come. The government realised the benefits that would come from making these films in this country and is proud to have actively supported The Hobbit from the very beginning. Speaker. The Honourable Toe Henry. Mr Speaker, what reports has he seen opposing development of the New Zealand screen industry? The Honourable Stephen Joyce. Uh, Mr Speaker, on behalf of the Minister of Finance, I have seen a number of comments which included firstly opposing and then pledging to repeal the legislation passed to enable the filming of The Hobbit, even if it meant losing the films offshore. I have seen other comments which label the passing of that legislation as, in quotes, staggering, a day of shame and also a disgrace. I note with interest, though, that these people, who are loosely described by the media as Hobbit haters, have clearly changed their tune with a number of their rank now attending the red carpet world premiere of The Hobbit in Wellington this afternoon. These same people will no doubt attend the opening of the Auckland International Convention Centre when it happens, would no doubt attend the opening of the Deniston Mine when it happens. Order, order, I think the question's been answered. uh, Somebody, Speaker. The Honourable Trevor Mallard. Mr Speaker. Uh, was the large screen, screen film grant um, extended by this government? And if so, did he consult with the Prime Minister who previously called it a waste of money? Ah. The Honourable Stephen Joyce. Uh, Mr Speaker, of the Minister of Finance, I understand it was extended, yes. The Honourable Toe Hannity. Uh, what, reports, what reports has he seen about other potential productions we might see in New Zealand? The Honourable Stephen Joyce. Well, Mr Speaker, on behalf of the Minister of Finance, a word has reached me of a drama that is currently playing out, which might be suited to the big screen, or perhaps go straight to DVD. In this particular performance, it's a very similar movie, the Fellowship is led by a tall, thinning grey wizard who surrounds himself with a loyal point legion of, order, of halflings. Order, point of order, 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 order with all. Now order. A point of order has been called and must be treated. Uh, with Mr Speaker, the, the, the questioner specifically asked for what are the reports. Now, the minister began by saying, word has reached me. 
Now, sir, that's not a report, and he's being frivolous with this House, and it's a very busy time order, in our political order, lives. Order. The member needs to forgive me, but I seem to recollect the member treating verbal uh, uh, reports as reports himself in the past. Uh, the Honourable... <laughs> Point of order, Chris Hipkins. Mr Speaker, I seek leave to table a DVD copy of a film called The Hollow Men, showing that it's already made it to the big screen. Order. 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 I'm on my feet. And the member may be pleased I don't put, seek leave of the House because he may not be able to table it and the standing orders require documents to be tabled. The Honourable Stephen Joyce. Mr Speaker. This particular performance, the fellowship is led by a tall, thinning grey wizard who surrounds himself with a loyal legion of halflings, sworn to protect him against a slimy, bearded creature hiding and plotting in the darkness, consumed by jealousy, relentlessly in pursuit of his precious. Their journey is made more difficult by the presence of a number of goblins still loyal to their former leader, an all-powerful, all-seeing, all-knowing eye watching from a distance, roughly between here and New York. We are here, Mr Speaker, we are here to, due to hear more about the conclusion of this particular story in February of next year, but I understand it might be a little bit of a flop, because rather than giant eagles, the Fellowship have decided to put their faith in an elderly mallard. <laughs> Order. Point of order, the right honourable Mr. Now, now, Mr. Speaker, we all like a good joke, but frankly, if, if, no, 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 order. if that is order, I apologise to the member. Order. Points of order must be heard in silence. The right honourable Winston. Mr. Speaker, we all like a good joke, and that member is special at it. But I want to say, sir, so if that is a precedent for way, the way you can answer with that length of time and with that obvious lack of order. reference to standing orders. But I'm not sure what the member's point of order I'm is. I'm getting to it right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, you heard him out for about order, half no, an hour. No, order the member. Jeez. The member will resume his seat. I think the House can occasionally stand a little, uh, little humour without getting too, too upset over it. Question, question number three, the Right Honourable Winston. Thank you very much, Speaker. This question is to the Prime Minister and asks.